um, I got a telegram from an old man. I knew it was an old man for, for the fact it was a telegram, and it had a word of his original stuck to it. <laughs> uh, basically, it was from uh, John Bradley, and, and he's 78, and um, he wanted uh, a dream coming true. Basically, what he wanted to do was have a ride in a hot air balloon. And, um, so I put it together in a VT. I filmed it. VT stands for... Yes. Yeah, have a look at this. Another day, another dream to make come true. I'm just time travelling through time in my time machine to make sure I get there on time. I hope I'm there. Look, does anyone know what time we're supposed to be there? I hope we're not up too late. I think that's enough. That looked quite realistic, didn't you, I think? I'll meet you there. You cut to me walking down the street. John, it's Keith Lemon from Lemonade. I've come here to make your dream come true. <laughs> Can I come in? Yes, yeah, please, okay. please do. Cut to me inside. <laughs> John, we've all got dreams, and dreams can come true, according to that song by Gabrielle. And you've got some dreams. What are those dreams, John? Well, I've got two. Um, one is a dream for most, most cricketers, to go to Lords. And the reason being, it's the, it's the home of cricket. I've been there to watch uh, county games. And I've been there to watch the um, the one day finals when Hampshire's been in it. <laughs> uh, and it's one of those things I'd love to do. And then to be able to go up the stairs and look out across the ground. That's one of my dreams. <laughs> the other dream is going up in a hot air balloon. To be taken up and see the countryside <laughs> filling out below. Oh, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, so, um, Let's do um, the what was it again? Balloon, balloon, air balloon. Oh, air balloon. balloon. Let's do that then. Then we'll make your dream come true in a hot air balloon. Brilliant. Right. Oh, Can wonderful. you use your toilet? I need a way. Hello, Mum. It's Keith. <laughs> do you know anyone with a hot air balloon? Has Jonesy got one? My mate Jones has he got one? Ah, oh, that's no good. Okay, I love you too. Ta da. <laughs> Oh, it's not gone. John, I'm, I won't be a minute. I'm just finishing off. Have you got any scissors? <laughs> you just have to tell the truth then. So that you did it. Sorry about that, John. When you've got to go, you've got to go out. Right. Um, so what we've got here is a simulator, and it's going to simulate what it might be like when we get up there. Are you still excited? Yes, to a point. It might be very windy when we get up there. Wind. Is this how you imagined it, John? Uh, not quite, no. What about rain? Ah, yeah. <laughs> what if a bird is coming by? And that's supposed to be lucky. We haven't been for ages, this bird. No. Do you think you'll handle that? I think so. OK, then we're ready to go in the air for a real hot air balloon ride. <laughs> Simulation. This is the real thing. It's a bit different to the wash basket, isn't it, John? By law, I've, you've got to wear the required oh, head right. gear. That's to stop spittle going in your eyes and the scarf. That's just to complete the look of a ballooning type man. Now, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Very excited, even to a point of tingling. Into a point of tingling. Now, I've given that tingle. I've made his dream come true. The dream is fulfilled, yes? Wow. Let's yes, shake sir. on it. It's not about me, it's about you. Although it was me that sorted all this out. <laughs> you ready to go up? Ready. You're flying with the wings. So impossible. As they may seem. You alright, John? Keith, how do you drive this thing? You don't drive it, the wind just takes you. Hopefully, I'll be back in studio! I gave him that tingling feeling that he's got right now. I could have got in that hot air balloon, but you know what? I've been in enough hot air balloons. It's not about me, it's about John. Although it is a little bit about me, and there he is, living the dream in a hot air balloon. Amen. I'm flying with the John, what are you doing, man? Watch Billy's eight! 
John Bradley, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> John, first of all, you're on telly, you've got no trousers on, so please don't get out of there. <laughs> How did it feel then? How did it feel? What was it like? Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. It was even better than cricket. Because you are 78 and you've gone through so much excitement, we do have to get you medically checked. Right. Keegan! Michelle! Michelle! <laughs> Feel him. Hey, is is this outfit really necessary? Yeah, otherwise you're spoiling my dream. I mean, John's <laughs> dream. <laughs> Before you go, you're into your cricket, aren't you? Yeah. I've got you some tickets here to go to the Lord's cricket ground for a tour. Oh, thank you. Oh, jeez, what a man. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm taking my grandson with me. You're taking your grandson. What's your grandson's name? Matthew. Matthew, who's going to take Matthew? Matthew, you're going to go to cricket with your granddad. Did <laughs> 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 oh, make your dreams come true? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, God. oh thanks ever so much. John Bradley, everyone! Thank you. <laughs> We're going to go to an ad break now, so you go for a wee, I'll see you in three. <laughs>